when we go out and study the lake and you look at some of this footage and you see these vents that are 300 feet below the surface, um, you're the first person on earth that, that's ever seen that. And that, that's just incredible. I mean, you really cannot, uh, cannot explain the feeling you get when you see that. In the summer of 1994, a team of scientists from the Center for Great Lakes Studies, armed with a technically advanced remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, set out to study the depths of Yellowstone Lake. Backed by the National Undersea Research Program, the team's discoveries would lead them on a quest for understanding how Yellowstone's geothermal system interacts with this cold 136 square mile high mountain lake. Apparently, Yellowstone Lake contains an additional or alternative energy source to sunlight. This energy fuels many of the plants and animals of the lake, including in part these cutthroat trout. The ROV's multitude of features includes a 35 millimeter still camera, a color video camera, temperature probes, a basket and scoop, and a computer-operated sipper system for taking water samples. A thermal tube garden made of almost 100% glass, various hot underwater geysers, and other manifestations of geothermal activity fascinate the team. There are times in this lake when chemosynthesis is, is very important and, and may, may be just as important or, or more important than photosynthesis as, prim as a primary producer. After the dive, water samples are taken back to the lab for analysis. Bacterial chemosynthesis, supported by sulfitic seeps, enables life in the absence of light. There are many implications for research into the origins of life on Earth, as well as the search for extraterrestrial life forms. Today, the team continues to investigate the complexities of Yellowstone Lake.